Hey guys, how you doing? It's Pete once again on a Sunday. Beautiful Sunday here in Alaska, real sunny and warm. And I thought I'd take a little break from some house chores I was doing and show you guys a saw that I made that I really like. It's fun to bring with me camping when I'm scrounging around for some firewood. And it works pretty good. And all it is is uh, a bow saw made from some wooden stock I had around, just some cheap pine. And the only thing I had to purchase was this saw blade, which is a nice quality steel. Uh, cost about five bucks, so it wasn't very expensive. And all you need is uh, some inch thick stock wood. This is just some pine I had laying around. It was used for something else. I don't know what it was. It had some holes in it, but I thought it would do. So all I did was drill a hole on either end, about a half an inch. Put a dowel in, a little gor Gorilla Glue, which holds it in place nice. And then the sides of the saw, all I did was cut a hole for my bolts and a little notch to receive the blade. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Not much engineering on this uh, project. So to put it together, all you have to do is figure out which end is going to have the paracord, and then put the center piece in on either end, with that notch facing outwards. And then all you got to do is line up the saw blade with the pre-cut holes, Drop the bolt through and tighten it up. Actually, I'll come from the bottom so I can see what I'm tightening. So that's one end. It didn't take very long. On the other end, I'll do the same thing. This one seems to be a little tricky. I'll show you what I'm operating on. There we go. Just need a little pressure. Drop my bolt through. Tighten it up. Hopefully you can see that. And just a little hand tightening is good for now. I'll tweak it once I, uh, or tighten it once I put the paracord on and tighten it. So all you do is about five or six feet of paracord that I put a square knot on the end. And just find out where the center is. Fold it in half, like so, and that's it. Put it over the ends, and then just wrap it a few times and catch it in the groove so that it doesn't slip, just like that. See that? And that should lock it in place. And I'll do the same thing on the other end. That should get it good and tight, but not too tight because we're going to make up the difference with this other piece of wood. Basically you just fit it between the two and keep twisting until you have a nice amount of pressure going on, which doesn't take too many revolutions. I can already feel it getting tight now. And when it has just the right amount of torque, and you, you get comfortable with it after a while and you know when, when that is. Just pinch it through with your thumbs until it's about there. And that's it. That's a homemade bow saw. And to make sure it's not going to slip out, just give it a little twist on either end. Like so. And that's a nice handy dandy lightweight little bow saw that you can bring with you when you're camping. It packs up nice. I've had it in my backpack and it doesn't take up too much room. All I did was make a nice sheath out of uh, duct tape for this blade to go in so it doesn't cut anything in my backpack. And I've enjoyed using it. I've cut some, some birch wood with it and it worked fine. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Have a great Sunday and talk to you later. Bye.